Hi everyone, in this lesson we want to look at how we solve radical equations and in particular radical equations uh, with higher roots instead of just square roots like a fourth root or a cube root. Okay, so just like when we were uh, solving equations that had square roots, uh, you want to undo the root. If you undo a square root by squaring, you would undo a fourth root by fourthing, uh, raising both sides to the fourth power. So if I just raise both sides to the fourth power, then this fourth power will undo the fourth root, or the one-fourth power. I multiply the exponents. That would give me y minus 7 is equal to 3 to the fourth. And 3 to the fourth is 3 times 3 times another 3 times 3. That makes 81. So y is going to equal 88. All right, you can check that real quick. 88 minus 7 is 81, and the fourth root of 81 is, in fact, 3. Okay, so notice also that uh, even though it's written as y minus 7 to the 1 fourth, that could also have been written this way, right? The fourth root of y minus 7 equals 3. I would have solved it the same way. Just uh, multiply, or I'm sorry, raise both sides to the fourth power, and the fourth power will undo the fourth root, just like the fourth power undid the one fourth power, since those are the same. All right, let's go on to another one then. Here I have the cube root of 6x plus 9 plus 5 equals 2. The first thing I want to do is isolate that radical. I want to get that all by himself on one side. So let's take the 5 on the other side. I'll subtract 5 from both sides. That'll give me the cube root of 6x plus 9 is a negative 3. Now, uh, earlier when we were doing square roots, we did a problem where I had the square root was equal to a negative. And uh, I wondered, uh, it turned out that we couldn't have a square root equal negative. But remember that I can take the cube root of something and have it equal a negative value. So I don't have that same issue or concern with cube roots that I had with, with square roots. But let's, uh, to solve this, go ahead and cube both sides. So if I cube the cube root, that's going to give me 6x plus 9. It'll just get rid of the cube root. And on this side, I'll get a negative 27. So now I can solve this simple linear equation. I'll subtract 9 from both sides. That would give me a negative 36. And then if I divide both sides by 6, I'll get x is a negative 6. Let's check and see if this works. If I plug negative 6 in here, I'd get a negative 36 here. Plus 9 is negative 27. And the cube root of negative 27 is negative 3. And negative 3 plus 5 does equal 2. OK, so that's going to check out for us. All right, let's do one last problem here. Here I've got a cube root on both sides of the equation. Uh, that's OK. Let's go ahead and cube both sides. So if I cube this side, I'll multiply the exponent. Remember, this is just the same as writing it this way. It's just written two different ways, just to remind us. All right, so uh, this is going to give me 2 cubed. Yeah, don't forget to cube the 2, right? Because there's a, I have to cube the whole thing. And then I'll cube the, the cube root of the 1 minus x. That'll just leave me 1 minus x. And over here, when I cube the cube root of 4, I'll just get 4. So I get 8 times 1 minus x is equal to 4. So 8 minus 8x is equal to 4. Let's come up here. Uh, I'll take the 8x on this side. I like to always have a positive x if I can. If I bring the 4 over on the left, that'll give me equals 4. So I subtracted 4 from both sides. It gave me 4 on the left. I added 8x to both sides. And then when I divide by 8, I'll have my answer. So x is equal to a half. I wonder if that will work out. Well, let's check it on our calculator here. Okay? So. If I plug a half in here, I would take 2 times uh, 1 minus 0.5. There's 1 minus a half. And I want to raise that to the 1 third power. So let's raise that to the 1 third power like that. And that gives me this nasty decimal. Let's see if that's the same thing as the cube root of 4. Let's go into our math menu and find the cube root button. That's number 4. Um, 
cube root of 4? Yep, those look to be exactly the same. So that gives me a lot of confidence that that is indeed the right answer.